Welcome to the Roadrunner Scooters YouTube channel. We are here with another video from our scooter workshop. Today we'll be showing you how to replace your electric scooter's battery. The whole process is not very complicated, so you should be able to get the hang of it. But if you're not so sure of your ability to handle it, you should consider getting professional help. Now let's get started. First, you'll need to remove your deck lid. If you don't know how to do that, please check this video on our channel, you'll find the link in the description. Once the scooter's deck compartment is open, let's move on to the next step. It's highly recommended that you remember exactly how wires are connected to your old battery so that you can install your new battery without any issues. We also advise that you wear a pair of safety gloves before getting started. Now grab your battery from the back side and lift it up. There are several strips of the double-sided tape under the battery, so it might take a little bit of effort to do that. If you can't lift the battery with your hands, you can use an L-shaped wrench or hex key to pop out the battery. Next, disconnect two yellow battery connectors attached to the battery. Now you'll need to gently remove the electrical tape from the charging port wire connectors. Before we move on, this is very important. You have to keep all the wires apart in order to avoid short circuits. There are four charging port wire connectors on our Nandrobot D6 Plus. The amount of battery connectors varies from brand to brand and model to model. There are two charging ports on our Nandrobot D6 Plus. This means we have two red and two black wires. There is electrical tape around the charging port connectors that you'll need to remove. Carefully cut the old tape with your pocket knife like we are doing here. Now disconnect all four charging port connectors. Please remember to keep them all apart in order to avoid short circuit. You'd also want to put two three strips of double-sided tape under your battery so it doesn't move back and forth during your rides. Now take your new battery and reconnect all the wires. Remember to connect the wires exactly like they were connected to your old battery. Please still ensure that the exposed wires don't touch each other. Once the charging port wires are connected to your new battery, you have to cover the connectors with electrical tape. It's time to organize your wires and make everything look like it did before you remove the battery. And finally turn on your scooter and test your new battery. Turn your attention to your voltage display, throttle controller and all other functions to be sure everything is fully operational. Now you can put your deck lid back on its place. We really hope this video was helpful and like always leave your comments below and let us know what videos you want to see next and subscribe to our channel for more tips and tricks from Roadrunner Scooters.